The Wallace Line is an imaginary line that separates the islands of Bali and Lombok in Indonesia. And it's a boundary that's been fascinating scientists and nature lovers for centuries. This line marks the edge of two different ecosystems, each with its unique wildlife and geological features. It's a zone where the Asian and Australian wildlife meet, but don't mix. Crossing the Wallace Line isn't easy for animals. The sea that separates these islands is a significant barrier, making it tough for land animals to swim across. Even for those that can swim, like some species of fish and marine mammals, the journey is still fraught with challenges. Currents, water temperature, and the availability of food can all affect their ability to make it from one side to the other. And then there are the evolutionary factors at play. Over time, species on either side of the line have adapted to their specific environments in ways that make it harder for them to survive on the other side. The history of the Wallace Line is fascinating. It was named after Alfred Russell Wallace, a British naturalist who first observed the division in the mid 19th century. He noticed that the wildlife on either side of the line was distinctly different, despite the islands being relatively close together. On the western side, you'll find Asian species like orangutans and Komodo dragons, while on the eastern side, Australian species like kangaroos and koalas dominate. This division is due to the islands having been separated for millions of years, allowing distinct ecosystems to develop independently. So, why do certain species thrive on one side of the Wallace line while struggling on the other? It comes down to a combination of genetic and ecological factors. Species that have lived on one side of the line for millions of years have evolved specific traits that allow them to survive and reproduce in that environment. When they try to cross to the other side, they may not have the right adaptations to compete for food, avoid predators, or even find a mate. This has led to an incredible diversity of life on either side of the line, with each ecosystem supporting a wide range of species that are found nowhere else. The Wallace Line is more than just a natural boundary. It's a reminder of the complexity and beauty of our planet's ecosystems. Understanding how and why certain species are confined to specific areas can give us valuable insights into the delicate balance of nature. It's also a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the natural world and how important it is to preserve these unique ecosystems for future generations. So, what do you think about the Wallace Line? Have you ever wondered about the secrets it holds? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.